Let's take a look at um, some options when we're creating driveways with our new um, open site site layout tools. I'm actually in um, Open Roads Designer and I'm in the Open Roads Modeling workflow. But I have access to my site layout tools, so the same tools you would find in Open Site Designer. Um, and specifically we're going to take a look at you know creating driveways and some of the options that we have when we create a driveway. And specifically we're going to look at creating a cul-de-sac at the end of a driveway or knuckles, you know, where a dry, where where a street may you know turn direction. So I'm going to go ahead and place a couple driveways. So I'm just going to select the driveway tool here under my pathway group. Um, I'm going to be using the pick points method, um, and I'll just give it a name. We'll call this self drive. And um, I'm gonna, I've kind of laid out my geometry, so I'm just going to follow that. So I'm going to select the pick points method, accept that, and place a drive to there. And I need to make a turn for the knuckle, so I'm going to go ahead and turn to that point. And actually, maybe I'll place a knuckle there as well, so I need to make another turn. And I'll just come to here, for example, and stop. <clears throat> Now I'm going to also place another driveway here, um, and we'll place a we'll put a cul-de-sac on that. So I'm going to use the pick points method, um, and I'm just going to enter my first pi to be there, and my last pi to be let's say there is fine. One thing I'll just point out real quick: you notice how it connects them, so it recognizes the other street. Or driveway and so it connects them up. Now now that I've placed some driveways let's come in here and look at the knuckle option. So to find that I would need to go in and zoom in on the point that represents basically the PI of my um, turn there. And so when I select that and let's look at its properties let me pin that so we can see it sees that it has a knuckle there, so um, it gives me some knuckle properties. Um, currently it's set to false, so there is no knuckle. So let's just go ahead and set that to true. Set it to true, and you can see it puts in, based on the default settings there, a 40 foot radius knuckle. And you can you know, modify that here, obviously, in the properties to make it bigger. Um, you can offset it here, so you can push it out from the center line, um, and you can adjust the return radiuses at, e at each end there as well. So you can say, for example, we'll have 40 foot return radiuses. So you got a few options there. Let's place another one here. So again, I'll select the point that represents the PI. And where it has knuckle, I'll go ahead and set that to true. Now, you can also set a return length. So as you, um, you know, that return over, let's say, 60 feet. And you can kind of see how we gradually enter into the knuckle. And gradually exit the knuckle as well. So you can, you know, do stuff like that. until you get the desired shape that you want. So. Now what happens if I select the PI that is at the end, and that's why I drew this one up here, if I select the PI at the end of a driveway or street, it sees that as a cul-de-sac. And so here I does it have a cul-de-sac, I can set that to true. And then it will base, basically draw the cul-de-sac in. And again, I have the same options. So if I need to you know, make it larger, I can. If I need to change the, the, um, the uh, radiuses in and out. So you know, let's say 
you know, I can adjust those, the entrance and exit radiuses at the driveway end. And I can have a cul-de-sec on either end, so each point you could do if you needed, you know, so it doesn't matter which end you pick, you'll have these options available. And again, you can also offset the cul-de-sec, so if I can, you know, I can offset it 20 feet, or I can offset it, you know, in this case, minus 20 to go to the left. And you can obviously move, you need to move it, the cul-de-sec will move with the driveway. So that's just how you find the properties um, for placing a cul-de-sac on your driveway or a knuckle using the um, open site modeling tools.